To connect your Tapo C310 camera with the smartphone, first you will need to open a Tapo app or download it from the Google Play Store. And uh, when you have that app uh, installed, you will also need to log in or register your account. So I've done everything. Uh, I have my account and uh, now we're ready to pair. So you can click on this plus button in the top right corner of the app, select add device, and then in the search enter C300 10 and select the camera from the list. Now we have two options that we can use uh, to connect our camera with the internet. There's the Ethernet port which you can find next to the cable uh, that is uh, the power source or you can go for the wireless option which uh, gives you an option to connect your camera with the Wi-Fi network and I'm gonna go uh, with it. Now uh, we need to make sure that our camera is uh, blinking with the red green light like mine right here. If uh, not then you will need to connect it to the power source and if there's a red light blinking that means you need to perform a reset and you can find the reset button on the uh, bottom side of your camera. Uh, it's uh, basically located right here and uh, you need to press on this button and hold it for a few seconds until it, you can hear that the reset is finished uh, straight from the camera. And now it should, uh, after a while, it should blink like this, which means we can move to the next step. And in the next step, we need to connect our camera to the Wi-Fi network of our phone, not yet to the desired network that we want for our camera. So open a internet settings on your smartphone and look for Tapo Cam. It uh, may have a different name for me. It's, it looks like this. Now when it's connected to the smartphone, we can go back and uh, the setup should progress. And in this step, we can connect to the Wi-Fi network that uh, we want to stick with our camera. I'm going to go with this option and then enter a password, but out of camera view. So I'm connecting to my Wi-Fi network currently. Okay, so the next step is to rename your device. I'm gonna stick with default settings. Then we can change the location where our camera will stay. And finally choose a icon. Now uh, the configuration and personalization is complete. We can click on sounds good, then agree if you want for a service, but keep in mind that you will need to pay for it after 30 days. We can set up local storage, which means insert SD card to our camera and perform a firmware update automatically at a certain time that you can choose right here. You can click on got it and that way your camera will be set up.